What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be looking at seven magic tricks that have gone horribly wrong on camera. Some of these clips are from TV shows, some are from live performances and some are just downright horrible performances which we, we can all have from time to time but here we go. So let's get into it and these are in no particular order either. Up first we've got a bit of a light-hearted one just to ease us into it all and he is Dave Allen aka Domino Dave. This is from season one of Britain's Got Talent. Dave auditioned for season one alongside his daredevil duck called Domino. Before the audition he stated that he's been performing magic since he was six years old and also added that there's no one else here today who's going to do what he's going to be able to do. To give Dave his due he did just that but not sure if it was for the better or for the worse. Anyway, on with the act. In the audition, he revealed Domino from behind a cardboard sheet and stated that he was placing him in a so-called duck transporter, which was a metal cylinder with a lid, and at the back it was to prevent the duck from escaping. He then stated that he would transport the duck to the future and start a countdown from five before setting the transporter alight. And then once that was done, he pulled the top apart to show that the duck had disappeared. However, as Dave moved to the other side of the room, the duck jumped out of the back of the transporter. Not noticing this, Dave pulled a sheet off the cage revealing what he stated was Domino. Piers Morgan commented, you were well and truly ducked I'm afraid, and Simon also agreed and stated that basically nothing worked. As good as performance was, he didn't advance through to the next round unfortunately. Up next we have the duo of Ryan Stock and Anne Boleyn who appeared on season 11 of America's Got Talent. They had a mishap in the quarterfinals which unfortunately saw them eliminate from the show as they didn't get enough votes. The duo started off performing in 1970s style house along with the song Sunshine Lollipop playing in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, we prepared two brand new, extremely dangerous, never before seen stunts. Where the duo performed a number of different sideshow acts. So Ryan, he swallowed a curved sword followed by a lamppost which is an impressive feat in itself but what was made more dangerous and where the accident happened was the post that Ryan had swallowed had a target on there which Amberlynn was meant to take a flaming arrow fired it directly at the target this is where disaster happened and Amberlynn missed the target and hit Ryan in the neck with a flaming arrow. Of course Ryan was fine following this and was medically cleared but due to a malfunction of the equipment this is what caused the incident. The laser sight was working fine and was on target but it was a notch that held the arrow which was at fault because it broke and caused the arrow to fly sideways. Following on from this there was a lot of negativity towards Anne Boleyn on social media including a meme that was created which said she had one job one job. Since this accident though the duo have returned to AGT featuring on the AGT the champions and AGT season 16. The illusion went perfect is the words uttered by David Martin Ferrari from season 3 of America's Got Talent but is it correct? David sailed through the audition but it was when it was in the variety acts in the Vegas round is where things would go wrong. David was performing a magic trick in which he created the illusion of an assistant's torso being separated from the rest of her body. Things seem to be going well until the curtain covering where the assistant is standing falls down along with a black fabric and exposes the illusion and shows people exactly what is happening. The guy's face once the camera cuts after this happens explains the situation without having to say anything at all perfect timing and perfect TV. David recovers and finishes a trick and when speaking to the judges he asks if he made a few mistakes he replies that the illusion went perfect. The illusion went perfect. So when the, when the thing dropped down that was deliberate? That is correct. The issue was part of the illusion to play with the judges minds. I wanted to play with your minds a little bit. I'm not sure if this was satire or bad comedy or if he just didn't want to fess up and admit that there was an issue which wasn't meant to happen. Maybe if he put his hands up they would have been a bit more lenient on him when it came to eliminations as accidents do happen and some things happen. But here's some random trivia for you here too. David was also known as David Martin Piccolero and was the founder of an exotic animal farm and faced a Florida charge for having a tiger and a cougar without necessary permits. He abandoned them in 2005 when he left his home for a job in magic. Crazy stuff. Coming in at number four is the fantastic Darren Brown and this shows that all magicians and mentalists can have issues that go wrong and possibly end up with tricks not going correctly or even injuries like this. Darren was doing some prep work for an upcoming project that he had with the cast of Freestyle Love Supreme and namely Lynn manuel Miranda who he eventually performed this trick with on video. The premise of this trick is that there's a large nail in one of the brown bags and the plan is to smash all of the bags without injury and be left with that one bag that has the nail in. 
As you're watching this video in this compilation, you know that something had gone wrong. It was during the prep work for this trick, which Darren then uses to show the cast how serious this can be. While practicing the trick, Darren slams his hand down on the nail, and the nail goes directly into the palm of his hand, causing a really bad injury, which he needs to attend hospital for. So in other words, don't try this at home, or even worse, don't try it on TV. Well, that's debatable about performing it, as I'm sure we'll see it many times on TV and hopefully it won't go wrong like it did this time. Before we head on to number 5, I just want to say a huge thank you to those that have made it this far throughout the video. I'd love it if you could leave a comment to let me know which of these 7 that you thought was the one that went worse on TV, and of course, a sub to the channel would be magical too. Now we're heading across the globe to Vietnam's Got Talent and we have magician Tran Ton Phat. He's performing an acid roulette trick which is similar to the one with the nail, apart from he's using water and acid. So picture this, it's the fourth live semi-final of the show and this has been broadcast on live TV to thousands if not millions of people. Tran performs this risky stunt where he's supposed to single out a small glass of diluted, colourless and odourless acid which has been shuffled between four other glasses of water. All five of the glasses look and smell identical, so there's no easy way to find the acid. He has a 1 in 5 chance of drinking the acid, and that's what happened. All the five glasses were shuffled up behind his back, and then the trick began. He takes the first glass and nicks it, and there's a glass and side relief as it's just water. Now he heads on to the next glass, and after he swigs it, he realises that he's took the glass with the acid in, instantly spits it out, and covered his mouth with his hand, and the realisation sets in of what just happened. He ended up suffering mild burns to his lips and the tip of his tongue, and was discharged from hospital shortly after he was admitted. Coming in at number 6, we have something which was later debunked as a viral advertising campaign for a German variety show called Gop Variety Show. And this video features two young children called Michelle and Sven, or Mikael and Sven. It shows the two kids performing a magic trick where one of them grabs a tablecloth from the table, the contents of the table stay on there, but one of the kids accidentally hits the other one, who then backs against the bookshelf, then the bookshelf falls down onto the other kid on the floor. Obviously not knowing the backstory behind this, you think it was a real tragic video that happened and after 2.2 million views on the video, a lot of people did think this. But of course, this was found out to be a fake video and it was staged for this TV show. Now, do you remember early in the video that I said that people shouldn't perform a trick on TV that involves slamming your hand down on bags and cups that have a nail underneath? <sighs> yeah, well... Marcin Polon Ewix didn't listen and that's what he did on a morning TV show. But he didn't use his own hand, he uses someone else's hand and that's when disaster struck. Apologies if I said your name wrong Marcin. There's a number of small square boards placed on the table and one of them has a long nail driven through it and is pointing with the pointy side up. The magician then covers them all, proceeds to shuffle them up until the audience has no idea where the nail was. But the shuffleman is too good because even Marcin didn't even know where the nail was. He then decides to finish the trick by getting the host of the TV show to slam her hand down on a bag which he didn't think had the nail in the bag rather than his own and he chose the wrong bag ending in the nail being driven into the woman's palm of her hand. It's a bit of a hard watch as you can see her pain that she's suffering through the live reaction on the TV. The female presenter's hand was reported to be much better after a short time after the incident and she isn't angry or upset about the incident but hopefully after all of this he's learned his lesson, learned his mistakes and won't perform it again or if he does to take more precautions to ensure that this doesn't go wrong again. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're into TV magic and things relating to that why not check out the video which will be appearing on the screen now which is about David Blaine. So the video can also be found in the description but it's showcasing all of David Blaine's stunts and feats of endurance that he's done over time. Until next time, see ya!